right, so welcome everybody to my first hiking video. We're going to be headed out to Hoosier National, Hoosier National Forest. Uh, we're going to be hiking on Ogala Trail. Now this trail is not marked, no upkeep on it. Um, I've only been on about two miles of it because uh, it's really hard to find. And we're going to park in a different location today, supposedly the trailhead. Uh, normally we park at Sundance Lake and then walk in from there, but today we're going to park at the trailhead and bushwhack our way through to find the trail. Like I said, I haven't, uh, I've been to the this part of the trail where it's supposed to be, but I haven't really been able to find it. So we're going to start our GPS on the phone and, and follow it and see where we end up. So uh, we just got a little bit of, about three or four more minutes here and then we'll be pulled up and we'll get out and we'll uh, get on the trail or try to find the trail. And if I didn't mention it, uh, here in southern Indiana. The last two days have been nothing but torrential downpour. So uh, everything is very, very wet. So we're going to see what it's like and we're here. All right. All right, we're here everybody. Uh, right, let's everybody. see what we can do. We're here at the trailhead. Uh, as you can see, there, as you can see, there's nothing out here. Um, and if I haven't said, today is extremely windy out, so I've got the microphone on with the sock and everything like that, so, yeah, I can only do so much about that, but we're gonna start to head up the trail where I think it is and, uh, go from there. We'll get back with you if I find it, or if I get lost. All right, so I'm out here, and as you can see, there's the truck way down there. And there's not a remnant of a trail. There's some kind of road right here, it looks like. Um, this is supposed to go up to a little pond and then I've been to the little pond on the trail from the other side. So if we find the little pond, then I know where I'm at. But for right now, I have no idea. Uh, I do see a marker here of some sort on this tree, pink tape, which I actually brought my own orange tape uh, just in case I needed to mark a way to get back. So. Um, I do have a pack on enough for an overnight if I have to. Uh, I shouldn't need to because this is a very short trail, but it's just been decimated up here. So we're going to keep on hiking and I'll let you know if I get there. I am tracking this on my phone on my GPS just in case, but as you can see, it is absolutely decimated in here. I don't know why, but it is. Um, the GPS says we're going the right way. so. Yeah, here we go. Lots of, lots of down timber and uh, not a very good trail. So we'll just keep on walking here. According to my phone, we are still kind of on the trail. Um, as you can see, it's destroyed up here. And I also noticed, right when I got up here to go out, my waist strap on my pack has fallen off somewhere, excuse me, somewhere, so I'm sure it's at home or something, but we're doing this without a waist strap. Oh boy, you can't see anything going back. Yay. I do know the road is like literally right over there, so we're good. All right, well, I don't know if you can see over there, but there's the pond. Here's the trail, kind of, and there's the pond. So I have been to this pond on this trail before. <laughs> These trees are crying up here. This wind is crazy today. So this is gonna go up here and make a sharp V. Um, and yeah, there's the pond.
<laughs> okay. Can't see anything going back. All right. We are at the pond. And there's the trail. So, here we go. Just a little pond up here. Don't know if there's any fish in it or anything like that. There was someone parked at one of the uh, pull-offs right before I got here. So they may be up here fishing, I don't know. All right, so as I said, the last two days have been nothing but torrential downpour. And as you can see right here, these trails are muddy and slippery. And uh, so I'm just taking my time trying to watch my footing. Uh, we are on the trail now, so we bushwhacked through, uh, didn't quite know where the trail was at, couldn't know see it about fell there. And we are now on the trail. So I've been on this part of the trail before. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go on a little walk here. And uh, yeah, I'll get back with you. Like I said, I've been on this trail before. I've been on this part of the trail for sure. Um, and actually about 200 yards in that direction. It's going to be Sundance Lake. Uh, me and a buddy of mine actually hiked around the lake last week. Uh, that was pretty cool. Lots of beavers. So we're going to bypass the lake and keep going down. Uh, we're going to go down to a little creek. And then probably try to make something to drink. I have my water, but I'm thinking something hot. So... Uh, yeah, uh, it's about 50 degrees out today. Windier than I'll get out though. So yeah, there's Sundance Lake. It's probably muddy, muddier than crap right now. We had torrential downpours, roads flooded, everything's flooded around here right now. So making good time, trying to stay safe on these muddy, muddy trails. But yep, we're gonna bypass the lake today and keep on walking. I'm gonna do a little detour here, go off trail, walk down to the lake and show you guys what it's like. It's a nice lake, kind of out in the middle of nowhere here in Hoosier National. Um, yeah, so let's make our way down there, show you the lake, see if anybody's out there fishing. Hey, look, here's a remnant of a camp. We got us a fire pit, burnt logs, trash. Didn't bring a trash bag with me today. Not going that way too much brush. Doesn't look like anyone's fishing today, but we're hiking, so. Yep, look at that. But look at this beaver. I mean, that is a big tree. That is a big tree. So, all right, let's head back up to the trail. So coming up right here is where I normally start to do our loop we park over there at the fishing access walk across the dam up this trail and we go up here and we go left I've been to the right up to that little pond okay it was from the little pond to the trailhead that I have never been before because I couldn't find the thing so that was playing today was park at the trailhead and make our way up to the little pond and then I've been on this before but, and that way we were successful. So now we're just gonna have to make our way back, but at first we're gonna go down here to the creek. Kind of, I'm gonna show you the creek. And we may stop and have a sip of a drink. My favorite part of this coming up here, besides the creek. Uh, actually, it's still a ways away. I may have to stop and take this jacket off. I'm starting to sweat, which, it's, not cold out by any means. Trash. Lovely. Not cold out by any means, but I really don't want to sweat too much. So, all right, I'll stop blabbing. Here we go. We're soon to be entering, entering into my second favorite part of this trail. That's because it is a pine thicket. And there's another little pond up here. But the pine thicket, for some reason, is my second favorite spot on this trail other than the creek 
I don't know why. I just like it. Woohoo! Jeez Louise, about went down. It is nothing but water and mud, and I just about bit the dust. <laughs> I do not feel like getting wet, but here we go. One of my favorite spots. Our elevation right now is uh, 802 feet. We're not very high right now, but we are on top of the ridge. Uh, down that way is a heck of a valley, and up here is going to be another drop off. But yeah, Ooh, there. This is this is one of my favorite spots. And like I said, this trail does not get maintained, so it is literally a deer path. But that's why we use the GPS. I just hope nothing falls with the wind because those trees are a moving. So yeah. And then up here after the pine thicket we're going to go down a hill to the creek all right so i've got you propped up against a tree um i'm at the little pond here but i've got to take this jacket off i'm burning up and i need to cool off a little bit like i said it's not cold not hot. Well, I instantly feel better. Um, when we get down there, I'll show you what I've got this attached to. Uh, it's actually sitting in the side of my bag. Um, I bought this off Amazon. I don't remember what it's called, but it attaches to Nalgene, uh, regular water bottles, and all that stuff. And it gives you this really nice braided covered uh, water straw. So, yeah, let's turn you around and Look at the pond here. Not a very big pond by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but it's a pond, so. It's pretty cool. It gives you something to look at when you walk by. So yeah. And we're getting ready to start our descent down towards the creek. Here we go. All right, so as we're starting our descent down, uh, I just wanted to stop and tell you that uh, this is probably the last time this was ever tried to be maintained. As you can see, this tree has fallen across, but yeah, they didn't, uh, they didn't get very far on that. But I would give them an A for effort, but they kind of quit a little early. Uh, we're gonna go down here. I'm going off trail for just a second. I see something blue down here. Oh, that's what the blue is. I'll have to bring the trash bag back. Take up trash. So as I'm coming down here, normally I cross this little creek and I go through this big open field up here. And then there's a road that goes up to the fishing access. And I, that's how I make my loop. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna cross the creek today for two reasons. I know where that part of the trail goes and it gets really boring that way for the first reason for the second reason i don't know if i'm going to be able to cross this creek seeing as we've had so much rain lately uh, it doesn't look like it's that deep but i really don't feel like getting wet whoa ah, man these, these trails are slippery today Out went down again. All right, we're coming to a really slippery spot on the trail here. Um, and that's, those are rocks covered in moss. So I'm gonna make my way down here gently. And yeah. All right, we're down, okay. Oh, the creek's definitely deeper than normal. So, I'm going to take this pack off. We'll go explore the creek for a second. Alright, so we're here at the creek. 
when I was down here last week, this thing was crystal clear, uh, as you can see from all the runoff and the color of it. We've had a lot of rain down here. But yeah. This is one of my happy places. So I brought a chair with me, um, but this, with the state of the ground being so soft down here, I have a feeling it's just gonna it's just gonna sink. So I'm thinking there's a down tree over here. Uh, I'm thinking we may just go set our butt down on that, or there's even one right over here in the middle of the trail. We may go make that our our resting spot for a second. But as I turn you around, you're gonna see the hill we came down. I know it probably doesn't look like much, but yeah. About 100 feet in elevation, but the wind down here is so much less. So that makes sense. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick that log right over there and go plop my butt down on it. Here we go. All right, so I walked down a little further down the trail here, and uh, there's another little stream. This is normally where I cross right here. But normally that's just a little trickle. Um, and these boots are waterproof, but I really don't feel like testing it out today and uh, possibly taking a chance to get my feet wet just in case it comes over. But I do want to show you this cool little waterfall, just a little one. And it's all created by a tree that's fallen down. And I've been through here numerous times and I've never seen it like this. So it's pretty cool. Another thing I've noticed is the ground down here is much more solid, so I think I am going to set up and uh, maybe make a quick drink and uh, right here by the creek and you guys will be along with me for that. Here, I'll show you where else this goes. I wish I I wish I could get across there for you, but I just don't feel like it today. But this right here, look at the ouch thorns other than me falling. You know what? Ouch thorns, big thorns. You know what? Ow, big thorns. I think. Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> if my feet get wet, it's done for. Those look slippery. I, I, I don't know. I want to so bad. Maybe up here where, maybe up here where it's not so deep, but not so wide. It's deeper. But it's not as wide. So if I get wet here, I'm done for too. There is little waterfalls everywhere on this thing. I just seen another one in the, going down into the main creek. It's just so pretty down here. I wish it was like this all the time, but normally it's just a little trickle. Yeah, let's set up. I'm gonna get my chair out. And we're gonna make a hot cider. All right, so I'm gonna set you up on this. It's got a little tripod in the handle. No guarantees, you guys might fall over. Oh, boy. How's that look? Other than the shadows. All right, so. All right, so on my pack here, I've got my chair. just a normal little camp chair And 
I just got this off Amazon. Actually, it was a two pack. We got two of them. I knew we would. So, we have a chair. Alright, so we have our chair set up. And I'm going to show you this. So it just connects to an Algene. And I've got it ran up and over. And, uh, yeah, it works pretty good so far. And it's got a bunch of different adapters to go on different kind of bottles. Now, I know this bag is huge for just a short little hike that I'm doing, but I always over overdo it just because, for one, I like getting out, getting some exercise with a uh, pack on my back. Now, I did bring my rain jacket because the weather is so unpredictable around here right now. I brought my warm stuff just because this bag stays in my truck and it's always in there. And down in the bottom, okay, you guys can't see. So I've got two different version or two different things. I've got my alcohol stove, and then I've even got a gas stove with me, but I'm not going to use it. And then somewhere in here, there's the fuel. There's the fuel. Okay, and that should be everything. Oh, no, wait a minute. I hope I brought that. Yep, I did. Windscreen. And cider. Okay. All right, now we can get this out of the way. And I can set you guys back up. Like I said, this is my first hiking video, so I'm sorry about the audio and the whatever else is wrong with it. I'll bring you back when we're uh, getting ready to go. All right, so one thing I do want to show you about this uh, this kit here. It comes with this, the different adapters. It comes with the adapter for the Nalgene. This here, I'm doing this one-handed. This here just unscrews from the top. Not only does it unscrew there, you could undo it right here. And then you can leave your hose attached and uh, you don't have to pull your hose out and everything like that but for what i'm doing i'm just going to take that lay it over the side there and then use that to pour into my cup stay stay there thank you in here we've got now this is a brand new Stanley kit oh no this is this isn't my new one this is my old one I don't need that I am gonna use this and inside of here nope not in there sorry I'm gonna use my cup from Walmart and that's gonna be my and I, I took it to work and I measured it out so we've got our half cup one cup one and a half and two cup measurements. Um, I'm only gonna do about three quarters of a cup and uh, we're gonna make our hot cider. So first thing I'm gonna do is clear this out. Get this stuff out of the way here. All right, I'm gonna clear this out of the leaves. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to set this up. Now this is just a cheap alcohol stove from Amazon. Um, I've heard mixed things about them. I've heard that they're no good. I've heard that they are good. Yeah, so whatever. I don't care. As long as it warms the water, that's all I'm worried about. I'm trying to set you guys up. So it's got our snuff ring, or our snuffer. 
And there's our alcohol stove with the O-ring. This is gonna sit right there. Now, let's just see. That's not gonna work. Okay, so. Did, did you guys see that? Probably, probably not. All right, so I'm just setting this up. We got our snuffer. We've got our lid here with an O-ring. We've got our stove and our stand. Now, this is just cheap one from Amazon, nothing fancy. But one thing I just noticed, if I put that stove in there, this will not work. That's not gonna work. So I'm going to have to set the stove on the ground, flip this over like so, and hope to God that nothing happens. <laughs> Just like that. All right. Next thing I'm gonna do is get our windscreen set up. Come on now. Stay upright. This thing is bugging me to death. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to hold you with my foot. I don't know if you can still hear me or not. The microphone is at my legs. So we've got our windscreen here. Okay. Now we've got that set up. You guys still seeing this? Yeah, you're seeing this. Okay, so we got our windscreen. There's a limb back here. Bugging me. Time is 5.16. On Saturday, I had to work this morning. It's 17.16. Okay. Thank you, Siri. But I had to work this morning, and then it was windier than crap, and I just decided I'm going to go for a hike and a drink. So we're going to pour our alcohol in that should be plenty okay put this back in the bag oh god that stuff stinks all right put that away and now in my pocket i'm gonna wipe off our hands from any alcohol we've got matches now let's see Let's take this off. And oh, Jesus. <laughs> that matches junk. Okay. So much for one match fire. Here we go. That did not like. Uh oh. Okay, that did not light either. Oh, it's lit, it's lit. Okay, it's lit. <laughs> I, you can't see, you can't see it, but it's lit. All right, yeah, that's lit. Okay, wow. <laughs> All right, get our cup here. Something cool down in the bottom there, oh well. Put our cup on, hopefully. There we go. Put our water in up to just past our first line. And there we go. I'm actually getting really hungry. I've got meals with me, but I don't know. All right, here we go. I will bring you back when that is coming up. Okay, well, I put you away too early because we've had a failure of the gas, of the fuel. It has went out. So, I didn't let it bloom. I forgot to let it bloom. So, here we go again.
All right, we're lit now. Yep. All right, so we're gonna let that bloom and take off. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I'll bring it back. Okay, so I believe we've bloomed. It's plenty warm. Yep, that's hot. We're gonna put our water back on now. And get that out of our water, whatever that was. And uh, bring that to uh, simmer. Yep, so I'll bring you back. And look at our view. We got a creek view with a waterfall. It's nice out here. The sound of the creek. Yep. All right, I'll bring you back. Okay, so we're back again. It went out again on me. I don't know if I'm just being impatient or what, but I modified it. You can see I've changed it up. Uh, I just bent those little tabs in. I think it's bloomed now. I bent those little tabs in so this pot, this little cup here will sit on it now, hopefully, and not put it out. So yeah, let's do that now. And I'm sinking into the dirt. Okay, yeah, here we go. Back on you go. Oh, please don't spill. Oh, that's precarious. All right, now we're going. Now we're cooking with fire, barely. <laughs> All right, I'll bring you back. All right, so I, was think, I think I was being impatient because um, now it's fully bloomed and it's almost boiling that uh, three quarters of a cup of water. So I'm gonna throw my hot cider in there and put the fire out. I think I'm gonna need my multi-tool to, eh, maybe not. So yeah, here we go. Let's take this thing off, I bet it's hot. Nope, not too bad. Okay, let's put this guy out here. Okay, now that's out. Now let's, whoo, that's hot, ouch. Doing this one-handed is hard. I'll get the trash in just a second. All right. Oh yeah. Should have brought a trash bag, but I didn't. Okay, there's our hot cider. And it is hot. Whew. All right. I'm gonna let that cool down for a little bit and I'll bring you back. Oh boy, all right. Well. I cleaned up, put my stuff back in my bag, got my water situation all put back up. Now it's time to sit here, enjoy this creek, enjoy the water, the sounds of the water running. I had to put my jacket back on because the sun went behind a cloud and it's getting a little chilly. But this hot cider is going to help with that. So yeah, I'm just going to sit here and chill for a couple more minutes. It is 5.35, so yeah, and then uh, I'm not going to cross the creek today, I think I'm going to just head back up the hill the way we came in, and uh, once we get back to the uh, small pond, well, the second small pond, uh, where the trail kind of goes haywire, I'll bring you back and uh, hopefully we can find the truck without using the GPS. So yeah, uh, I appreciate you watching this if you are. Uh, if you feel like subscribing, I probably, I feel like I'm gonna do this more often. Uh, I'm gonna have to invest in a little bit better setup for the uh, tripod there, because that thing ain't working. Um, but yeah, just thanks for joining me on a Saturday afternoon. And who's your national? And if I haven't said, we are in southern Indiana. Uh, we're in the northern part of Hoosier National Forest, uh, southern part of Indiana. Um, and it's uh, middle of March right now. And so 
Uh, the nights are cold, the days are warmer. And yeah, so. Uh, what was I saying? Anyways, thanks for joining me. And uh, thanks for, for watching. Hit the like, the, the subscribe button if you want. And uh, hopefully I'll get another one out in a couple weeks. I'll bring you back when we get back on the trail. I'm sure you all know, but GoPro batteries suck. It's not even that cold out, and it's saying it's almost dead. So I'm just going to rinse my cup out here. I'll wash this when I get home. I just didn't feel like taking back a sticky cup. So yeah, GoPro batteries suck. All right, well, hot cider's done. I'm going to pack up and head back up the trail. All packed up. I've got something in the wrong location in this pack, but it'll be all right. It's not a long, not a long hike. GoPro battery saying it's dying, so it's going to be a sparing use on the trip, trip out. Someone's shooting over here behind me. Don't know who. Uh, it's, there's no hunting season in right now, so maybe they're just target practicing. I don't know. It is 5:45. Leave no trace. Pack it in. Pack it out, and we're off. Here we go. Bye bye, Creek. Right here's where I was gonna first set up, but I decided I wanted to be a little closer to the creek. Oh, about walked, about walked right by, by the trail. I was too focused on going to the creek again. That's the big thorns. Here we go, up the hill. Ugh. This is gonna suck, especially when it's slippery. Hopefully I don't fall. Here we go. I'm just watching where I put my feet. That one down. Watching where I put my feet. Uh, and taking it easy. All right. Keep on walking. I'll bring you back when we get to the other pond. I'm bringing you all back a little bit early. I just wanted to show you the hillside here. We're in the pine thicket. And... This is, we are on top of the ridge. Looks like it kind of levels out down there. But, yeah, just wanted to show you that. So, back to the trail. He's all sprawled out. And there's more shooting. Cool. I wanted to bring you back. Found another what looks to be little campsite. We're about, I don't know, 300 feet from the, from the dam where the overflow is and someone has hauled these rocks all the way up here. There's more shooting. And that rock, that rock is not little. So someone got a heck of a workout in. I just wanted to show you that. Someone put in some work to get that up here. Just for a fire pit. I don't know what this is, but it is some kind of cobbled up tool that someone decided to make. Um, <laughs> wow. I don't know what that's for. I'm going to leave it here, and when I bring my trash bag back, I will uh, grab it and take it out of here. Someone worked hard on that tool, though. I don't know why, the, why they bought a three-pronged digger and then squished them all together and then welded a hinge onto it, but whatever. All right, so here's Sundance again, very muddy. Like I said, over there 
is normally where I park and then walk across the dam and then uh, yeah down the trail but today we parked over that way actually uh, on the map we are directly east of this lake I mean straight line directly east so <laughs> yeah all right moving on So, just a little bit more information. Good Lord, every time. Every time I turn on the camera, I never fail. What the hell? And with these huge wheels. My phone just turned on and started playing a video. I thought someone was right behind me. I'm not gonna lie, my heart kind of stopped for a second. <laughs> All right. Shooting and then my phone turns on, started playing a video. That, that's, uh, that made the heart jump for a second. Thought someone was from behind me. Uh, what the hell was I saying? <sighs> okay. All right, compose. Here we go. So, this trail, this is only, what we did today is only maybe a third of this trail. Um, that big field down by the creek, if you cross it, there's a forestry road that goes up and it connects with the fishing access to Sundance Lake. And that's normally the loop I make. But if you cross that, if you cross that big open field, this trail is actually a through trail. It's not a loop. Um, and I've tried to do it one time. And when I got to the end of that big field and where the trail was supposed to be, there was nothing. And uh, I didn't have enough time that night to get out and actually look for the trail and find it. Uh, and it actually has another trailhead down on another road at the end of this one, or at the end of the trail headed the other direction that we could park and walk from that direction and try to, you know, make it meet in the middle somewhere. But with this trail being so overgrown and unmaintained, you know, it's just kind of makes it difficult when you get off work and then decide to come out and go hiking to go bushwhacking to try and find a trail. So one of these days I'll park at the other end and try to work my way back up to here. But that day is not today. And yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to update you on that and had a little excitement there. You guys hear that? They're talking to each other. That's awesome. They were having a friendly conversation, it sounded like. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but I believe it was two owls having a nice Saturday afternoon conversation and a stupid crow interrupting them so yeah but that was pretty cool I don't know if you heard it or not but, all right we're almost back to the little pond where we uh, have to start finding the trail again so I'm gonna hop off here battery's about dead I'm gonna save some battery for the actual right, hike so, out so as you can see we've made it back to the first little pond we crossed I'm gonna give you a better look and listen of it So that means our turn off of this trail, or back onto the trail, whatever, should be right up here. And then that's when the fun begins, trying to find our way back to the truck. All right. I 
think I've already passed my turn. Yeah, I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I can always look at the GPS. I know it's directly that way. I know it's directly east somewhere, but oh well, we'll find our way. There's the trail right there. Maybe it was down here. I don't remember. There it is. I didn't remember it being this far up. I mean, you can kind of see resemblances of what used to be a trail here, but it's just, it's so hard to find. Like I said, there's a road directly to my east here. So all I, I know is I don't make it back to the truck this way. I'll just walk out to the road. But let's hope I can make it on this trail here. Oh boy, this looks fun, doesn't it? You know what? Look at that. I don't know if you can see that off in the distance. You can't see that. <laughs> I told you about that orange marking tape that I brought. Well, I put it on one of the trees when I lost sight of the truck, when I could just barely see the truck. And I put it on one of the trees and I was literally just back there five feet and I seen that orange marking tape wrapped around the tree. Now I've lost, there it is, straight ahead of me. <laughs> That's awesome, it worked exactly like I wanted it to. Just so I could have a point where I know I needed to head to and I can barely see the truck from there. So, looks like, God forbid anything happening from here to that orange tape. Looks like we made it and we kind of found the trail. Yep, there it is. So I believe right through there is the trail. But as you can see, I'm not going through that. And I don't know if you can see it up there in the distance. That's exactly what I was talking about. The orange marking tape. I, I am so happy that idea worked. And I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to spot it from the trail back there. But sure enough, there it is. Now, if I look hard enough, I can see my truck sitting right down there. Perfect. So, leave no trace. Pull the marking tape off, and we are home free to the truck. Now, as long as nothing's happened to the truck, setting out here on an old forest road where a bunch of sketchy stuff happens, then we'll be good. Just mentioning about sketchy stuff happening. What's that? Nothing, okay. About sketchy stuff happening, I do, you've probably seen it when I took my jacket off earlier, I do carry a sidearm with me. I'm perfectly legal. I have my concealed carry permit. Uh, even though you don't need it out here, I do have my sidearm with me. Uh, the way people are these days, and you know, you never know what you're going to come across out here as far as wildlife and you know, dogs. I mean, as you can hear in the background, there's plenty of gun activity out here, which is fine. I mean, we're not too far from people's private property. They can do whatever they want on their private property. But who knows what kind of dogs they have that run free and out here running the trails just like I'm walking the trails. And, you know, who knows what kind of dog they are. So I always carry protection with me when I walk or when I hike. It's just something that makes me feel better. And, uh, yeah, nothing anybody says is going to keep me from doing it. So... We are home, sorry, we are home free. There she be. All right, so I'm gonna set you guys up and take this pack off. Sorry, messing with the uh, microphone. I know you're kind of I know you're kind of at an angle here because you're on the hood of my truck so that was fun that was a good hike I'm glad I found the trail up through there um, that way I like parking here more than I do uh, like over at the lake because the lake has a lot more traffic in and out from it 
and not saying people are gonna do anything, but I have a, I just have a weird thing about parking my truck in unknown locations for a long time. So. Also, I have shown you this thing unhooked. Um, I just left the hose on my backpack. I'm gonna take a drink of water, take the lid off, take a drink of water. Oh, that was good. And let's see, we will stop our hike. Like I said, this wasn't gonna be a long hike or anything. It was more like a fact-finding find, mission. 2.78 miles, not too long, but it is what it is. All right, take this jacket off and get in the truck. All right, all right, well, everybody, I'm back at the truck, as you've seen. Um, the road behind me just got really busy. Like three cars have just went by in the last five minutes. So I don't know, maybe people are out doing the same thing I'm doing or just country cruising. I have no idea. But anyways, we're going to get out of here. Um, thanks for watching if you did. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It's just a short little quick trip. Like I said, more of a fact-finding mission, trying to figure out the trail to get up to the trail. Um, maybe next time it'll be longer i don't know uh yeah so if you liked it hit the like button subscribe i appreciate it and uh i'll catch you in the next one thanks again everybody all right so i thought i'd bring you down here and i thought i'd bring you down here show you the other side of the lake um as you can see this is where people have been unfortunate <sighs> people i swear Yep, this is why I don't like parking here because God knows what happens down here. And uh, yeah, I just don't feel like leaving my truck down here. So, especially when I'm on the trail. And this lake is up. That water is usually two feet, two feet lower than that uh, dock right there. And it is right up on it. So this lake is definitely up. Someone's had their boat in here. But yeah, this is Sundance Lake. If people would quit littering it up and making it nasty, it would be a nice place. I mean, it's a gorgeous place, but as you can see what we just walked past, that's what people do.